was fast twitch app. The fastest it's been in probably a couple of weeks, which is good. It means that it's slightly quicker than usual that we can get started. We'll get started in like two minutes. Okay, two minutes are up. Take a drink and we'll get started. Ladies and gentlemen, and ghouls of all ages, welcome to the soothing, the squelching sounds of Yarnum FM. Marcus is off for the night, so I, MCR, will be your host. This one goes out to all of you blood suckers and flesh eaters out there, because tonight in the real world, the pale blood moon hangs low, and a ritual has begun. So sit back. Relax and enjoy becoming a flesh-eating zombie that will do the bidding of those far infinitely your greater. Because I know it will be one hell-raising good time. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Bloodborne, the stream edition. Last time, well, just like that guy just said, the pale blood moon started to hang low, and now we have another mission to accomplish. We have to seek out the nightmare that is plaguing Yarnum and causing people to turn to beasts and all that, and destroy it! So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. First things first, though, is there anything I need to grab out of my little storage box? Um, not a whole lot. I really should get rid of that oil urn. If I'm being honest, but I don't think there's a whole lot that I care for. I want to keep that shaman bone blade handy because it'll be useful for something later. Um, okay. I think we're good, so let's us head on out and back to Yahargul, because that will let us make our way through to the truth of the matter as to why this was the Unseen Village and what it uh, will accomplish for us now that everyone can see it. Oh, 
Oh great, and there's inflicted organs in this game too. As if finding a, a, a basically a, an abandoned, aborted fetus in the last episode wasn't bad enough. Now I gotta deal with that shit. Well, this is just fan damn tastic, isn't it? You're enjoying this, aren't you? All this gore and violence? Well, potentially. What is with this? Why do you have a cage on your head? Like, is that the new fashion line from Yahar Ghoul's best celebrities or something? What was that sound? Oh, hi, Amygdala. I didn't see you there. Hmm. Thought I heard something, but. Must be just my imagination! Oh, that wasn't my imagination. <laughs> oh, okay, down there. Gotcha. Yeah, you guys do you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go over here. Hey, a bloodstone chunk. Nice. Only one more to go, and we can make one of our weapons plus seven. And where, pray tell, did you come from, good sir? Well, wherever you came from, you're going back there now. Hmm. I don't think this is the correct way to go, which is why I'm sort of exploring this way first. Or I do think that there is a guy in a wheelchair down there, if I recall correctly. Somewhere here. Hey, Kira, how's it going? Iron Yahargul Helm, huh? That sounds useful. See, there's the major problem with a gun like that, sir. You need to reload it. And it takes a while to reload, evidently. Thank you for the blood vials. Actually, I think this is right where, um... I was intending to go later on in the episode to kind of show there's there's a really nifty shortcut that makes it way way easy to get to the very bottom of this area but we do need to go in the other direction as well so that we can um, grab but there's a key that I need to grab as well so doing all right well that's good I'm doing pretty good myself just hanging out playing some Bloodborne as per usual three times a week, though uh, next week, and I need to post an announcement on YouTube as well for this, and probably right on, uh, whoa. Well, all right then. Yeah, I need to post an announcement. Uh, oh, they're coming back to life, well that's great. Stating that I'm going to be going back to doing this four times a week, starting next week, so. Yeah, that's how that's gonna go. Anyway, I, I was intending to come here later, but I guess I can show it off now. Um, we do need to go in the opposite direction, because there's a key we need to grab. But if you want to make your, save yourself a bunch of time, apparently there's a shortcut right here. Because if you do a charged R2... Maybe not right yet. Maybe they patched it out. Hmm. But there's, there's a part in the level where you can do a charged R2, and basically in a spot similar to that and basically you fall right through the level down to the streets below and I may not be in the right spot so I will try it again in a different spot ouch and ouch again it's fine I'll get a couple of blood vials but yeah I think I need to go down here in order to What is that thing doing? Looks like another amygdala down there. Close one. But yeah, I, I think these guys will repeatedly respawn. So it uh, could be problematic for us, obviously. Okay, hi there, Amygdala. You wouldn't mind letting me go. What? Never mind.
Okay, then. That's something. Yes, chilling Bloodborne stream. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get that. It's it's tough. To schedule it, Scheduling this sort of stuff is difficult. It's just because, you know... It, it's like you said, things get in the way, and next thing you know, the schedule that you were hopeful would actually work. And, I mean, there's no guarantees that the four days a week thing would work again for me, but I feel like I could go back up to it. So since I feel up to it, I'm going to give it a shot. Um... And yeah, that's how that's gonna work. But eh, I'm gonna give it the best I can. That's all that matters, really. All right, so don't get eaten by amygdala this time. That would be preferable to the alternative. I wonder where my blood echoes went. Oh, I can see them down there. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I can see that being a problem <laughs> when you want to start doing your own streams. That's for certain. All right, go this way, grab the ease, and then run right past all of you. Ow. All right, can we just, yep, there we go. Whoa, double, double rolled when I didn't want to double roll. Ouch. Ugh. I can definitely hear somebody ringing a bell and causing all these guys to come back, so that might be where the problem lies here. Maybe this person. No more bell ringing for you! Beating her, we get some Quicksilver bullets, and I think now that that's happened, none of these guys will respawn until we, you know, hit up another lamp, so... Apparently they also take tons of damage now, so that's that's nice. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna check in there in a moment, actually. I'll wait. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, like I said before, make sure you know you take care of all the stuff you want to do IRL. That's uh, you know before you try to commit to the schedule. Get that stuff done, and you'll be good. Nice aim on that shit, holy cow. I think we're good though. I don't want to go aggravate Amygdala up there, so I think I'll just I think I'll just hang out down here. But yeah, apparently there's a shortcut somewhere in the level here where you can drop down to the streets below. I thought it was over there where we just were, but apparently not. The Mensis ritual must be stopped, lest we all become beasts. Sounds like a terrible idea. It's a damp blood gem, huh? Let's go take a look at it. Bolt damp blood gem. Okay, so it will add bolt attack and increase bolt damage. Actually, I think it just increases bolt damage. I don't even think it adds bolt attack. Kind of a kind of gypped, but you know. Ooh, see more enemies down here. Or I hear more enemies. That there was a statue, but I thought I saw them. Definitely hear something. That could be bad. Door doesn't open from this side. All right. Yeah, I'm hearing another bell. Which usually means there's another bell maiden somewhere. Around. Ah, okay then. Well, that could be problematic. Okay. Should get a little HP back from this. Almost killed him. There we go. I'll bet you that's who I'm looking for, is that target over there. We'll see in a moment. Because you want to kill the bell ringers. No, that's not a person. My bad. There's an air rune. As opposed to a hair rune. Something tells me a hair rune wouldn't really help me here. 
Uh, Yahar Ghoul. Probably second floor of the lecture building if we get all of Yahar Ghoul done. It depends. We'll go from out. We'll go from there. Actually, that really hurt. Hold on. Go out here, funnel them one at a time. I don't even know if I'm safe out here, but... Yeah, nothing's trying to kill me yet. Alright, let's see if we can find that lady. I think they have some arcane magic that they can use on you, but... Uh, yeah, I'm killing them too quick, so it doesn't matter. Those guys apparently came back, though. Thought I was gonna hit him just exactly when he was gonna slam jam me with a cinder block. Apparently not. Ah, okay. Quick and easy shortcut to grab that one. And what was hiding in here? You know, besides people grunting and moaning like they're crazy. That's a problem. Alright, well we got some cold blood, so that should help a little bit. I'm looking for... there's a very particular point in the level that I'm looking for where I can kind of drop down into a cell, because that will have a key that will help us out. And I think it's somewhere around here, actually. Like we want to get down there, I think, is where I'm looking for. We'll see. here. Man, there's a lot of people over there. Hmm. Let's see if we can find the bell ringing maiden first. Before we go messing around with that. Definitely just heard her. Question is where is she? There's another bloodstone chunk. We can plus seven something now. Oh, one of them saw me. Great. <laughs> That's the gist of Yahar Ghoul at this point, really. Is uh, It's a lot of getting caught by people, and generally... Generally, Yahar Ghoul is a, is a bad time right now. That's the, <laughs> That's the whole gist of it. Oh, we got a patroller. Just stop walking away from me when I'm killing you. <laughs> I was going to say talking to you, but yeah, that's not exactly the truth, is it? I'm not talking to any of them. I'm just killing them. I don't even know if down here is where I'm supposed to be going. For, I'm look, Like I said, I'm still looking for a way into this one spot down there. Is there more than one person throwing those? You know, just you. Know, you just have multiples. That's it. And now, when we go back that way, we will have to deal with that again. Ouch. That's all right, though. Oh, here we go again. Yeah. Oop, that's not where I wanted my weapon to be. I wanted it like that. There we go. What's down here? Excuse me, ladies. I've got places to be and people to see, and you're not any of them, so... Hmm. Well, this is where I want to be, but I want to be in there. I don't remember exactly how to get in there. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Because the bell ring maiden just so happens to be in there, I think. So we want to get there. Let's go look. See if we can head her off at the pass there. I see comments. Sorry, I'll be just a moment. I don't want to have that happen too many times. I get whipped by one of the enemies. Uh, is it up there? <laughs> I could have sworn it was down here, but ow. Alright, this way. Hey, 
Hey, Distrezzler, how's it going? Sorry, like I said, dealing with the mob here, so having a little trouble reading chat for right now. Ow, ow, ow. Right now. We'll be good in a moment, though. Okay. Okay, okay. Could, could you not, please? Like they attack just within my. Get out of my way. All right. Just within my um, window of the transformation attack where I'm not attacking. It sucks. Let's see. You want a torch? You can swing like that. Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. Maybe on a high arcane build, huh? All right. See you in a minute, Kira. Yeah, PTSD is the correct response to this area. Yeah, you, you are right about that, because this area is not fun in the slightest. It's a big, fat pain in the dick. I don't remember where I'm supposed to drop off from to get this key. Maybe it's down here. Let's go look. Give me some HP back. Ride. I don't. I don't think it's down there. I was just kind of scanning the area. And I don't see anything down there that could vaguely resemble. Oh, there it is. Ouch. All right. So I did find the drop off. Let's go use it. You know, I take care of, again, the mob. Who repeatedly continue to respawn until you, uh, well, drop down here. Some friends in cold blood, nice. I'd rather they not drop on my head, though. Which they might just, ouch. Might just do. Okay, this could be a problem. Not, never mind, I, I could be fine. Ouch. Can, can I get up sometime this century, please? Thank you. Is he gonna come down here? Because that would actually be advantageous for me. Down here. Down in front. Are you gonna make me throw freaking poison knives at you? Must have some high poison resist. All right, forget this. I'm throwing Molotovs. <laughs> we get to use them finally. Oop, I, I'm gonna actually use that one oil urn as well, because he's being a, a right pain in my neck. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing this, because by the time I get up there. He'll be uh, respawned again, but I won't kill him in 10 Molotovs, so if I leave him severely weakened, like this, I can come back, drop on his head, and go from there. And no clip powers, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to clip through, there was a shortcut apparently earlier in the area, but I don't think I found the correct area. So, to clip through. But apparently, you can do a charged R2 and do some speedrun shit. Totally clip through one of the spots here. Haha! -ha! Ouch. I didn't know you had an attack like that. Alright, let's do this. Ouch. Again. No, you die. Oh my god, he's barely alive. Okay, there we go. And now for you. Okay, and now all the enemies in the area will no longer respawn. So once they're dead again, they're they're dead dead. So that's that's perfect. Again, I think that only applies though unless you die and then you go back to a uh, uh, lamp. So I could be wrong. 
there's a dude down there. He's guarding a treasure chest, but I want to be in here. Because if I drop into here, we can grab the Upper Cathedral Key. You may recall, when we were way back at the Healing Church Workshop, there was a door that we could not open. Well, now we have the key for it, so... <laughs> yeah, for sure. But apparently, I mean, I might go back to the part there if we get to the next lamp. That was all I really cared to grab along this path here, was that key there. So... So maybe we'll go back and I'll show it off. I need a little of my HP back though before I go anywhere. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. What, no blood vials? You guys suck. <laughs> this whole area sucks. Oh my god, oh my god. This whole area sucks, really. For different reasons. Alright. Like, see, they don't even give you bullets or nothing. It's like, come on, man. There's the tiny tinnitus, which I believe behaves like a regular tinnitus. Oh, no, it's slightly different. It, it emits a shock wave. Okay. A similar morning star, the mace that utilizes quicksilver bullets when stuck into the ground, it recreates the blue sparks that are said to surround the dark beasts. Like Archibald's masterpiece, this too is a superb conductor of the powerful blue sparks. Needs 25 arcane to use it, though, so... Eh, not really up my alley. Yeah, like a tinnitus, but small. Yes, exactly. What was that noise? Is that all of the other people burning? Because that would be beautiful. I was also hoping that I, when I dropped on his head there, I uh, when we dropped down, it would have dealt, dealt a lot more damage, but... Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Yes, an arcane tool. And it is helpful for arcane builds. Not something we're really uh, concerning ourselves with. Wow. I'm used to them taking three hits to kill, but apparently not so. Now I gotcha. Oh. They have a friend. You've got range, so do I! Take that spade and shove it. Where are they coming from, man? Like they're jumping out of the woodwork, hello. I'm telling you, they're coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> I think we're almost done with the PTSD portion of this area, which is all of these crazy people. Oh, is it? Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Welcome back, Kira. I've never used a, an arcane build in this game, so I'm not really on the up and up about what's good and what's not. Oh my god. Oh god, oh dear. Get me out of here. That could have been me. And I'm glad it wasn't. But yeah, this is the last section here that could cause us some trouble. Because there's another amygdala up there, and he likes shooting lasers. Now, when the laser hits the area that it hits there, it takes it a hot minute before it blows things up. So you can kind of run through it a little bit. Uh, not exactly, but like you have a split second to get out of the way of where the laser hit before you die. So... Yeah, but zappy zaps. Yeah, I know. We got bolt paper for that. It's fine. Okay, that's that's not very nice. Oh my god. Nice. All right. So now let's check this out. Let's see where we can and can't walk here. It's not quite directly up the middle. Let me see. Starts on the left. Moves slightly to the right. Okay. So let's do this, and then go around this way, and then we're good. Good for now, anyway. That is a tricky section, though, especially if you didn't get the um, the key there, the upper cathedral key, because, yeah, then you wouldn't even have seen that bell maiden, and uh, that could be problematic. That guy's going there. I'm actually going to go back to the Hunter's Dream, and then I'll, I'll grab my Molotovs, and then we'll come back, and he'll be back. So. 
I think he might drop chunks, actually, that guy. So we'll we'll see. Just gotta make my way through. I used a ton of blood vials in that section, though, so... This could be a problem. Um, let's see here. I think I threw these in the box for later. Yeah, I did. Okay, and we still are topped off on those. Let's top off on these, and I'll take the rest of these out so I can kill that little dude. Uh, let me equip those, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Um, let's actually do this. We'll do Molotovs here, and then we'll put our papers. And then Beast Blood Pellets. You know what? I might not put the Beast Blood Pellets on here because I don't plan on using them all that often, so it's kind of, eh, you know... Not that useful. They're useful, it's just they're not, I'm not planning on using them as much as you know, most of this other stuff. I actually probably could take the uh, blue elixirs off of here uh, because I'm not planning on using those all that often either. Or the monocular, we haven't used the monocular enough for me to really care. So perhaps we'll do, um, yeah, we'll put it here instead of the monocular. I'll just pull the monocular out manually instead. All right, there we go. Why do we not see the tentacle monsters depicted in those statues? <laughs> yeah, he's he's kind of got a point. The monsters you don't see are scariest. Once you see them, it's like, oh, that wasn't like anything like what I imagined in my head, you know. But yeah, I I don't know. Maybe they were like um, like beta versions of the monsters or something, and so then you know that was what they scrapped when the game actually went through. So this is an actual iron helmet that we got there, the Iron Yarhar Ghoul helm. Um, it's I mean it's good, but eh. So this I think is an upgrade to the air rune that we got previously. Yeah, but statues, yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. So it's I think it's got the same problem as the one that was hooded there, is that it just looks too big, you know what I mean? It just makes my head look enormous. Plus I have the beak mask now, so I'm kinda like, yeah, you know, I think I'm I think I'm good. Let's see. Yeah, I mean it's not as enormous, but it's still pretty big. Oops. Let's go put that away. I'm I'm sticking I'm sticking with this, man. This is this is like high fashion right here. We're gonna probably be getting something else that I might want to wear when I'm using this later on though, like because this doesn't really fit with the whole aesthetic that I got here. I may want to get some different clothing to go with the Ludwigs. Uh, something a little bit more prim and proper, but yeah, we'll, we'll get that later. Not a big deal. Uh, let's stick the Tiny Tinnitus away, because I don't need that for now, and I'm actually going to take out the chunk that I got. I don't think I need to take it out of my storage to use it, but for upgrades, that is, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, there's that, and then, um, what do we upgrade to plus seven here? Probably this, if I'm being honest. Oh, I'm doing Blood Gem Fortification, whoops. I don't need that, I need this, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll do Ludwig's. It's it's more powerful, and that's usually going to be pretty good against the bosses that, well, power obviously is good, but Ludwig's, I think, is more useful against most of the bosses we're going to be fighting from here until most of the rest of the game. Yeah, I guess I don't need to have the shards in my inventory to upgrade, do I? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. All right. That takes care of that. We don't need that Volt Blood Gem, so I'm probably going to sell it, and then we'll level up. I think we have enough to level up. I can't quite remember from last time. We'll see. <laughs> I I like it. It's just like I said, it's too big. It makes my head look enormous compared to the rest of my body. Now that could be because I I chose. Well, no, I chose a standard. I'm not uh, getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of this. I chose a standard um, size for my hunter. And as much as I like that, and I mean, you know, it might go. You know, let's do this. It might go good with my cape now since it has that black hood. So. Let me try it before I knock it there. I, I tried it previously and it was not so great, but it might be fine now that I have something in jet black to go with it, so. Yeah, I don't know, it's still, it, it's like when I have the beak mask on, it's just the same, the hat, hat there is just the same color as the cape, so it fits, but that is like super jet black that the uh, the Yahargul stuff is. Yeah, I mean, again, nothing wrong with it. Just 
Not up my alley, exactly. Um, I think I need some different trousers to go with the ones that I've got. I mean, the ones I've got are good, I think, but, you know. Let's see here. Okay, let's put that away. And then... Uh, do we have an old air rune? That one versus... Yeah, that one's a little bit brighter, so let's take this one out. Put... Actually, you know what? We'll leave them both, because... I, normally I sell the ones that are, like, lower leveled, but... Eh, you never know, I might need a bunch of them, so... Alright. Let's go see if we can level up, and then we will proceed with the rest of uh, Yahar Gul. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well, let me... Let's see. Yes, we can, in fact, level up. That's good. Um, do I go with more of this, or do I go with more attack power? I do like the 330 there. We'll go with this. We'll get more HP next time. We got a decent amount of HP. Farewell, good heart. May you find your worth I in the waking skipping, world. Um, I gotta thank her for it. Thank you, milady. Alright, and now let's go back. And I gotta remember, oops, I went to the wrong lamp. I gotta remember, as soon as I teleport into the other lamp, that guy's probably gonna start running, that little uh, skittering dude. So. And as soon as he starts running, I gotta run after him and hopefully not get brained by whatever else is trying to kill me here in Yahargul, so. <laughs> I try to keep them as organized as I can, but yeah, I, I totally get the that whole thing. Like, I try to keep everything that I don't need in my storage, rather than be, just being like, oh, it's fine where it is. So. It helps me to keep everything together. It uh, it's, it's, again, probably more affected by me having OCD about those sorts of things, but... Eh, you know how it do. It just be like that sometimes, that's all. Executioner's gloves, huh? That's another hunter's tool. One that I won't really be using all that much, I think. Because, again, I don't really plan. Oh, no. ah, here we go. Get back here, you little scamp! That takes care of that. Two more chunks, thank you. That will help. Oh, there's another amygdala. Hello. If I come up there, are you gonna try to kidnap me and take me to the nether realms? Because I honestly wouldn't put that past you. Oh, I see you can kinda drop down there. I hear another bell mate. Oh, and there are dogs, great. Well, I think dropping down here is a smart play. Because of that guy. Frenzy cold blood. More bullets. Is that the maiden right there? I can't tell. I know they're here somewhere. There are doggos, though. So that's a problem. Man, they're mangy, aren't they? Oh, good lord. Well, I see you! Ow. Get rid of her. There we go. Alright. The rest we can handle from there. Now that she's dead. Ow. These guys will take a ton more damage, and apparently so will I, though. Although I don't know that I'm taking a ton more damage, I'm just taking a ton of damage. Give that back, sir! not belong to you. Sweet! 
That was a little easier than the previous ones. I say that, but I'm pretty sure there's something else waiting around the corner to murder me again, but y you know. That's usually how it is in games like this. Murder around every turn. <laughs> Relocate. With violent force, yes. <laughs> More of a commentary than intended. I must have missed it. Phrasing. I can add that to the phrasing brigade. Oh, hello. I still have to go back through all of my um, Persona 5 clips and see what the phrasing stuff is, because I'm sure at some point someone's going to say, hey, whatever happened to that phrasing compilation? And if you were wondering why that one door couldn't open before when we were in the Unseen Village, that's because we just did. It's now opened up. If you haven't beaten Dark Beast Parl, though, I'm pretty sure he disappears from the current game file. I could be wrong about that, but yeah, this lamp that was here before... Doesn't work anymore. Oh, hello. It's an amygdala skeleton. Doesn't work anymore. And those bag people that are down there... But yeah, there you go. So there's the same thing. The bag people, the people with bags that were down there, are now replaced by three hunters. So I hope you opened up the shortcuts, because if you didn't, oh, I feel bad for you. But yes, now we are down on the streets, and the next order of business is to go and open up the shortcut that leads back up to the top of the area. There's a few other things we can grab here, but I'd like to go do that, too. Oh, the amygdala comment? Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> I guess it could have social commentary connotations, but... Yeah, I, I didn't think too deeply about it that way, so... Used it quite a lot. Old Hunter's Bone, Empty Phantasm Shell can help without going full in. Yeah, I was considering doing like 15 Arcane. I may still do that because we've, I mean, we've got plenty of time before I reach my blood level that I'm planning on being in the end game, which is blood level 100. Uh, so we've still got a ways to go before that happens. I might just take five points off of Endurance. Like I might just put Endurance at 20 instead of 25 and stick those five points in Arcane so we can use stuff like the Empty Phantasm Shell. And maybe the old hunter bone, excuse me, but kind of just the empty phantasm shell. That's really all I would I would care for. The, the problem, though, that I have with a lot of it is that none of the bosses following when you receive the empty phantasm shell are weak to arcane. So it's kind of like, eh, it's not as useful as the fire and bolt paper is, you know what I mean? So let's see what terrible nightmares await me through here. I've said what a terrible night for a curse before, and I think it's pretty appropriate considering the situation. Is a pig back? Sort of sounds... Oh. Okay, then. That's not a pig. It's something far, far worse. Man, I've heard of monster in a box, but this is ridiculous. Okay. Let's see if I can... Find the elevator. I think that's just a burning body. I don't think that has any particular... Oh, God. Usefulness to us. There's probably a bell ringing maiden out here, too, though. But I'll have to go deal with it somewhere, somehow. First things first, though, let's go, um, again, see if I can find the elevator. I know it was around here somewhere. I was gonna say, where's your backup, but, yeah. There, probably right here. What, no items there, sir? Disappointed in you. But here's the elevator right here. So this is a shortcut back up to the surface, and I think there's an area that we can drop off of. Yeah, so remember that one area with the dude in the wheelchair that shot the um, rifle at me? That's right there now, so it's a little bit easier to get back and forth from here on out. I think I can drop out of here. Yeah. Ouch. And there might be something over here that I can find. I think there's dogs over there, which could be problematic. I almost just walked off of that, which might not be a bad thing, though. Because it looks like there's an area down there. Well, we'll come back and we'll explore that later. For now... I have to deal with 
dog. Oh god. Then let's give this a shot. Maybe the Bell Maiden will be up here and that'll solve all my problems. Or maybe she won't. And there will be tons of problems. I think that's also a teleport right here. This weird pool of liquid. Inspect bath. But yeah, I think if you inspect that, you can go, like, teleport further on in the level and end up, like, really close to the boss of the area. So, let me just do that. Did that get you? Nope. Thank you for the chunks. I was waiting for something to stab me in the back, but apparently I got lucky. I think down here, that yeah, I was going to say, there's, like, uh, blood werewolves, which is quite the big problem. There's gonna be two dogs in a moment. Oop, there's the second one. Still not sure where the Bell Maiden is here. Probably, like, if I have to be honest, she's probably behind that guy. Somewhere. Mm, nope, never mind. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be, but... It's not of this world, so it needs to die. Twin Bloodstone Shards and a Bloodstone Chunk. Cool. Get all the chunks we can, because we're going to need quite a number of them in order to go from here. Alright, so do we go in the strange pool, or do we drop down, and then we can come back up and go in the strange pool? I say we drop down here first. Just see what waits for us here somewhere. Because there might be something on one of these ledges. Like the Bell Maiden. I thought I just heard her. I mean, she's got to be somewhere around here, but not necessarily right here. Yeah. Let's go back up. I'll, uh, I'll roll off. I'll, I'll put the elevator back down. this when we're going down a little easier than doing it on the way up, you know. Dogs are probably back down there, so let's not waste any time. Inspect the bath. Whoa! It's wolf made out of corpses. Yeah, that could be. 99 in every stat. <laughs> That might take a little while. Level 200 is your OG character only has four blood tinge. <laughs> yeah, I think blood tinge is the stat that gets ignored the most, if I'm being honest. It's not exactly useful on a lot of physical weapons. It's mostly useful for guns, which there's a limited quantity of which you can use because, not because there's a limited quantity of guns, but because you have ammo for them, so. Hey Raptor, how's it going? least disgusting enemy in the game. Oh yeah, you know, you know how we do around here. That's like a cakewalk compared to some of the crap we've seen and will see. I can't tell if that person's behind there or not, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so now this is down further in the streets there. So do I go that way or this way? I'm going to say we go this way, but let me see what's up here first before I decide that. What was that? It looked like something was trying to, sh like, run at me, but... Who's the beast here? I'll get that arrest. Alright. That takes care of that now. Can I, like, walk off of here? No. Not quite. 
was going to say, because that's a long drop. I don't think we can do that. But the boss is actually right over in that area there, so we could go there um, and try to figure out what we're up to. But there's, I think there's some chunks to grab while we're down around here. Thankfully, though, now the enemies in this area will not respawn infinitely anymore, so that's, uh, that helps quite a bit. Scout out with monocular. Okay, that's actually a pretty good idea. Let's check it out. Since we have this vantage point, we might as well use it. Oops, it's not on that anymore. Where is my monocular? Here we go. Yeah, it looks like mostly these monsters in a box. There's also a hunter over there. Not a hunter, but a you know one of the, one of the villager dudes. And then there's that dog of corpses over there, according to what we've seen. Probably not good for us. All right. Well, that's the way we got to go anyway, so might as well go ahead and give it our best shot. Plus, I mean, it's fairly easy now to get back to this point because we could just inspect the bath again, so not a huge deal. I don't know if I'll be able to sneak up on this thing. No, it, it can see me. All right, that's... Maybe. Maybe it can see me. Maybe it can't. Nope, it was turned the other way. Okay. What on earth is that ungodly noise? Some blood vials, cool. There's a hunter and a dog, which could be problematic for me. Nice pup. Not nice pup. Run out of juice. Oh god. Can't quite kill it yet. Just wait till we run out of juice and then come back. That actually works. There we go. Sweet. Got anything for me, Pop? Ooh, funny what some shards. That's probably okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on down there, but something sounds like it's having a hell of a time. You guys passing kidney stones or something down there? Like, holy Jesus. Whoa. I think he's down there. I'll have a look in a moment. Yeah, he's definitely down here. See, these enemies having infinite bullets, it's like, okay, because, you know, they don't really do much outside of shoot you, but the hunter, NPC hunters having infinite bullets, I'm not okay with. <laughs> yeah, everything is awful, yes. <laughs> exactly. Fine, play Stronghold Crusader while watching. That's okay, Raptor, no problem. Use it as background noise, that's all. Okay, this leads down onto the streets, oh god. Here. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Hey. Man, not quite. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's just me being better, but it seems like those guys aren't as challenging as the original werewolves where I pretty much had to cheese them. Ooh, tempering damp blood gem. How does that do? It's tempering, so it's probably pretty good. And it was a 5, so physical attack up 18%. Very nice. All right. That's going slotted right into one of our weapons for basically most of the rest of the game, until we're done with the Chalice Dungeons anyway. All right. Now we're out here. We really out here now, boys and girls. Um, maybe I shouldn't attract so much attention to myself. I... Oh, hello, dead body. by, you know, using a torch there. All right, so that leads down under the streets. I think everywhere else we've been, though. Let's, let's just go check. Because over here, yeah, I don't know what that is, but something, something's going on down there. Can't get in there.
Trying to tell what the um, that little banging sound is, you know. But I'm 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 at a loss right now. So. <laughs> yeah, there are NPC hunters with a call beyond. Yes, we've already fought a couple of them, and they were they were just a little bit of a problem. So. Oh, use a second monitor to follow the stream. Oh, okay, I see. Well, that's that's good. That'll definitely keep you in the loop. That's for sure. Least disgusting enemy design in the game. <laughs> yeah, well, you might be onto something there. Words might be. I believe those guys are. I don't think they're considered kin, but I'm pretty sure they're not of this world. So they, I think, take. Oh, that's what's been shooting at me. I was wondering what that was. Okay, so they have blood cannons. Great. That's yucky. Alright. See if we can get through here without getting blood cannoned again. Just bob and weave. Well, let's go fight the boss anyway. We can always come back for the treasures later if I'm really that desperate for chunks and stuff. Oh, I'm actually going the wrong way. This is leading back towards the church. <laughs> Whoops. I got turned around somehow. All right, can I go in this place now? Since I've you know been here already and I've established that we can't. Oh. Here comes the monster in a box. And you don't take much damage from that, do you? Ow. Time for the big guns. Oh my god. I didn't realize he was going to do that much damage. Well, we have an easy way in and out now, so that's not a huge deal. I just got to remember exactly which way to go in order to get back to my blood echoes there. Because I got to go down the stairs. He probably is going to hold on to them too, so... Let's see, is it easier to go this way and just go down and around, or is it easier to drop down and use the... I, I'm going to use the bath thing. Let's do this. It could be from the carriage. Yes, you're correct. It could be. You could be right about that. I don't know. I keep thinking it's like somebody shooting at me or something, but... Yeah, you know. Yeah, it was stupid damage. <laughs> oh, well. What are you going to do, right? All right. Um, back up to this one. We'll go around those dudes and onto the elevator, which actually may not be at the top. It's probably at the bottom, so I'm going to have to kill them, wait for the elevator, go down, and then go around to that bloodbath thing. Okay. Should be able to do that. But yeah, I totally got turned around there, which is a problem because it means that we aren't going the way that I'm supposed to go. Alright, so we've established that going down here is the way that I want to go. So let's go this way. See that guy. Is his friend going to come kill me yet? No. Alright. Oh, there he comes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're still going to respawn, so let's, uh, yeah, we need to use the lever. Where is the lever, anyway? It's got to be, ah, there it is. Walked all the way around to it. Okay, let's get the elevator back up here, and then we will drop down onto the bath. Right about here. There we go. The dogs, they'll be coming. We'll kill them first. Second dog. 
Second dog. There he is. I've been waiting for you. Don't you back away from me. Alright. Now for the bath. And then we'll go down and around. Okay, so we established that we want to go this way. The dog's going to be back, isn't he? Yep. Alright. Well, I should still be able to go past him if I just let him walk. Give him some distance so he can go for his walk. He needs to do his business. And that's fine because I have my own business to tend to. And go. Go this way. There's another dog to deal with down here. Maybe I'll blue elixir. Bullets don't give you any blood vials, huh, do they? Okay, well, I'm just gonna go. Just gonna go. Just gonna go. Just gonna go. Okay, this is the way to the actual bosses down there. Can I see from those things if I hide over here? I was honestly trying to go back and get my stuff, but something tells me I'm not going to really get a chance to do that now, am I? <laughs> I could try. So I think it's back this way. Whoa. Never mind. Get out of here before they start messing around. Alright, if we go to the house. Okay, that's not good. Go this way, go up and around, maybe a little. Is it following me? Yep, alright. Let's play chicken. Wow. Almost did just play chicken with that guy's projectile. Ay ay ay. I see an item, I kinda want it. It's worth it. Not Arcane Lake, not worth it, not worth it. Alright. I'm gonna go over here. They're probably still on me, but yeah, Yahargul is pretty confusing. <laughs> They don't make it easy. Well, it's a madman's knowledge, all right. Because only a madman would come down a narrow corridor when those things can shoot blood spears at you. Makes sense to me. All right. Oops. There we go. All right, and let's go down here because this is where we want to go. And I could fight those guys, but eh, I'd rather go here. Get into the room before we get blood speared, though. That actually didn't take as long as I thought. Probably because I skipped like half the level, but that's okay. We should still get enough chunks from the other spots that we can go to, so. Oh, not more of them. Come on, man. I've already dealt with enough of your kind today. But what could they be ringing their bells for now? God damn it, are they summoning the land of Canaan? It would make sense, the land of Canaan does have a giant baby in it. Something tells me this is far worse, though. Mommy? <laughs> oh. Oh, barf. Ah. Uh. Remember those rotting corpses I was talking about at the very beginning of the stream? Yeah, they're back. <laughs> hey, Siesta, how's it going? Ladies and gentlemen, 
If you've never seen Conception before, eh, I mean, there's a lot more screaming involved most of the time, but that's about it right there. So this is The One Reborn. And I want to... Basically, right now, I want to get up. Priority number one is to get up on the ledges here. Well, so that I can go and take care of those bell-ringing women who will otherwise keep him healthy. So, I don't want that. So smooth, so silky. Ugh. Again, barf. Alright. So we want to take care of the bell-ringing women, and hopefully they won't fall off. Because if they fall off, it makes it a lot harder because then they're all the way on the ground there. So, I'll just do this. There are six of them up here, so I want to take care of all six of them before I really start fighting the one reborn there. Oh, there's an item that I didn't get over there. Huh. I'll have to go grab that later. Some bullets, thank you. Stop attracting his attention! It's attention, whatever. Non gender specific things. You want to say about this hulking mass of oh my god corpses? Oh god! Ooh. I was hit there. But nope, I'm protected somewhat. I have a shield, you see. It's called architecture. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, that's that's how much I I love quote unquote it. All right, come here, you bastard! I'm gonna put you in the ground like, again. So basically, what you wanna do is you can almost continuously stun lock him if you keep slamming his appendages, because eventually you'll break his appendages and he'll fall on the ground like that. Now he can be visceral attacked when he's on the ground, but I'm gonna wait on that for a hot minute. I'm gonna break his tailbone real quick. Oh god. Ew. Y'all, he tried to poop on me! <laughs> oh my god, and again. I'm gonna go for something else. Cause this shit ain't fly. Oh god, get me out of this crap before I die. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. He pooped on me and it killed me. You saw it here first, folks! <laughs> Just Metallica fans, it's fine. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so, next order of business is to stay away from his pooper. Because obviously, that's not where I want to be. All right. Acid got you a few times. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch for that acid because it uh, was not fun. I can actually use this against these guys down here. I don't know why, but most of the time I'm like, oh, I need to use a serrated weapon against human enemies. It's like, no, you really you really don't. Because they're human, they're not like beasts. They may call you a beast, but they're not beasts themselves. And they die in three hits anyway, so. All right, let's reoperate this. We'll take the bath back, and then we'll be hopefully in good shape this time. <laughs> the latest thrash metal sensation, yeah. Yeah, I think hard pass on that one. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Here we go. These dogs are beasts, though, even though they're made of blood. So let's just uh, take care of them. In that phantom range, both of us, really. In that phantom range. I don't know where you were going, pup, but I was already gone at that point. Alright. Let's do this. I think bolt paper's more effective against him, but I could be wrong. I gotta watch for that acid, basically. Like, I gotta basically go to his back legs and then stop at the back leg. Because if I go behind him, obviously the acid is gonna spray everywhere and kill me so that doesn't sound like a good time that sounds like a terrible time so let's just uh avoid that mess of a thing again 
Give the dog some room to run. Fleshy, pulpy mass that he is. Ugh. And then... This way, turn off my lamp so I don't... My, my torch, really. So I don't attract the attention of other pups. Because I already got enough to deal with with these assholes right here. Alright, is it left or right? I'm... It's left. Or no, that's not left. It's my other left. It's your other left. That's right. That's what I meant, but you know. It came out right. Actually, it came out wrong, but uh, you know. Okay. Slow down for a hot minute and then go again. Oy. Skimmed my ear hairs there. Alright, back in. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> Hello there. We meet again. Wow. Oh god. Let's get out of here. Wonder if he's gonna have my blood echoes or if they're just gonna be on the ground somewhere. I mean it doesn't matter either way, they're not that huge of a deal. That did not skim me. Good. Use the pillars for cover, because that seems hopefully good. I mean, we're going to get back like 30, 31,000 blood echoes from this boss anyway, because that's about how many we had. I probably should have gone and used them, but, well, you know. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Damn it. Railing always gets me. Okay. So let's get back down here. I could use a Beast Blood pellet here, if I'm being honest. It might be halfway decent, considering the uh, fact that um, it's a, uh, a large boss. Usually they're better against larger bosses. I'm just going to pretend like I can see. Aha, here's my Blood Echoes. Okay. Ouch. Oh, go. Oh, God. Ugh. Just stay away from that. Ow. Give that back! Can I get him? Okay, I might be able to visceral him. Nope, that's fine. Still hit him a little bit. Uh oh. Just get away from that. Try again. Try the other side. Oh god. Hey. Okay. I think that's no, not quite. Well. I, say, I think that's enough to get him to stagger, but. Whoa. Well, that could have been a problem. I'm glad I dodged that. Give him a nice stab. Okay, here we go. Alright. That's fine. Get a little damage off. Slide out of the way this Oh, God. This way. I'm, I'm behind him again. I just told myself I didn't want to be behind him. Ow. Hey. Oh, God. All right. I thought he was going to slam that down on me. Which, to be fair, is something he can still do. Ah! Run away. <laughs> okay, he turned around. One good shot. Should be enough. hoo Gotcha. Hooray! Slaughtered. Let me bathe in all of that disgusting placenta moon placenta juice. That is the worst thing you will ever hear me say on this stream. I'm calling it now. Anyway, 
Uh, Final Fantasy VII victory theme in order. Yeah, Beast Blood and Paper is pretty much an auto win. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I'll be on the chat again in a moment. Let's see. I can, I can, I don't even have to be looking at the chat to hear a dot 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 incoming from the Moon Placenta Juice comment I just made. <laughs> How's my volume on this thing? Oh, it's muted. Hold on. Oops. Okay, let's take a quick break. <laughs> Okay, so if anybody said anything after Beast Blood and Paper is pretty much an auto win, I apologize, I did not see it. And I just reconnected to chat, so. Anyway, yeah, so that's the one reborn. Uh, takes care of that. We're actually pretty close to the end of the main game now, if, you, uh, if you'd believe that. If we uh, go up here, we can actually go do some stuff with what we just took care of but we also got some yellow backbones while we were here so let's go check those out yet again something for a holy chalice ritual i don't know if we'll need it for when we do the chalice dungeons because my personal plan for doing the chalice dungeons is that i'm going to do all of the story bosses in the tumaru chalice areas i don't plan on doing is or loran or uh i hill i think i have to go to because that's at the bottom of the tumaru chalices but, um, yeah, my plan is just to do the Tumaru Chalices for the Chalice Dungeons themselves, and then also collect on some sweet, sweet blood gems using a nifty little trick that was recently discovered by the Bloodborne community. Like, this, inside of this year, I think, they discovered fake Chalice Dungeons, or false Chalices, if I remember right. I could be wrong, but that's because I'm not exactly on the up and up about these things. Anyway... Let's grab a couple of bolt paper out of here. We need to buy a couple more since I used a couple. I also need to slot in that fancy 18% damage blood gem that I got. So let's do that on Ludwig's. Um, let's see, physical up near death. Yeah, look at look at the damage increase there. It's qu it's quite a bit, so it makes a big difference. I kind of like the physical up at full HP thing, to be honest with you. But I mean, I could always do this. That does give us a little more damage, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, I was wrong, but the ellipses in the chat didn't happen. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, what does Sawspear have in it, anyway? Oh, I could take out this slow poison effect if I take out that one from Ludwig's. Okay, so if I do this and put that there, that's fine. And then if I do this and I go with this one here, yeah, that's a little bit better. Cool. All right, so that's how we'll do that. Can I fortify anything yet? I have five bloodstone chunks, so I can, in fact, fortify. Um, you know, we might just do these, like, evenly. Like, I'll go plus seven, then plus eight, then plus nine, and then we got to decide which one we're plus tenning, though I think I know. But yeah, we'll do plus seven on that. I probably should upgrade these at some point. Maybe I'll upgrade them to, like, plus five or something like that. It would be a decent use of Malda bloodstone shards that I've got, but I mean, you never know. I might have a use for them later. Actually, I can slot in blood gems if I do that to some of them, can't I? Yeah, I can slot in a blood gem to these guys if I make them plus one. Hmm. Not that I have any blood tinge gems. You need blood tinge gems for those to be remotely useful, so. I'm going to go see if Garmin's over here now. Sometimes he is, sometimes he's not. Maybe it's because I haven't gone into any of the chalice dungeons that he's not over here. I'm betting you that's what it is. Yeah. All right. I could plus two both. Yes, I could plus three both. Hunter's Nightmare. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if you want to teleport back to the DLC, this is how you do it. You use this headstone. Remember that she was, uh, the doll was praying to that headstone at one point. So, that's how you get back there. We have a ton of insight. Let's go use it on some stuff. I need at least two bolt paper, and then I can also see what else I can buy afterwards. Um, 
So I need two of these. And we can buy chunks now, but they're 20 uh, inside a piece. And I think... Keyword is think. I think I killed the only method that you could use to grind infinite insight. But I, I could be wrong about that, but I know you can do like this weird trick where you like duplicate a whole bunch of items if you um, like kill something and then you can leave the cell and come back and leave the cell and come back and it, it revitalizes the items over and over again for you. And I don't know if I killed that potential infinite uh, almost want to say infinite humanity, infinite madman's knowledge, but I could be wrong about that, so I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I got 20 pebbles, so I think I'm in good shape there. I can put these away, since I can upgrade without them being in my inventory. Um, we could sell that, since the poison from that isn't really something that's ever come into play. Keep that. All right. I mean, I'm probably I probably feel like poison would be fairly useful if, you know, it was actually if it procked more again. It just seems like a lot of enemies other than NPC hunters have really obnoxiously high poison resistance in this game. So, yeah, it can be problematic for you. All right. Well, let's get rid of this one. And uh, excuse me. Now let's level up. Welcome. What is it? Very well, let me... Well, what is it? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It is that and that. Alright, that takes care of that. So now, let's see. If we get this to 40, this will be 30, and then this I'll get to 20, this I'll get to 35, and then I'll get this to 15, and this to 40, or this to 25, and this to 40. I still haven't decided yet. Eh, that's something for later. No big deal. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Thank you, milady. Yeah, we don't quite have enough bloodstone shards to plus three the torch, the pistol, and the blunderbuss there, but since I'm not really using them for that much stuff, I may just leave them where they are. Um, we got six of those eight frenzy cold blood, so maybe we can level up one more time. Yeah, we can actually level up one more time just from that twelve. Okay, I think so. Anyway, let's check. Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let me. Yes, yes, we can. Um. Yeah, we'll go with this. More skill next level. Farewell, good hunter. I will thank her again. May you find your worth in the waking world. Just because. Thank you, milady. Okay, so now we can go back. Now we could go back through Yahargul to see what else we can find in there, but I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. It's mostly like bloodstone chunks, which are the big, the biggest things that you can find in there. So I don't remember if there's anything else that's really that decent to find there, but well, you know. So, we could go back to the plaza. Can I really go here? No, function unavailable. So yeah, as we saw, the lamp that was at the Hypogean Jail is no longer uh, functioning, so that kind of doesn't help us. We could go back down to our jail cell and see if there's anything new down there, because we're going to be going to the lecture building, and then we need to make a quick detour after that. So... Um, you know what, let's do it. Let's go to the, um, we'll go back to our jail cell there. Hopefully the hunters won't follow me down. Maybe I'll use like a blue elixir or two, so. Hypergen's gown, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know the pronunciation, though. Uh, Kira corrected me on, uh, Gaol there, G A O L, and said it actually is pronounced like jail, apparently. So, so yeah. All right. Um, blue elixirs are here, so let's let's keep those in mind for in just a moment. Let me. Hello, Amygdala. Let's 
once again. All right, so blue elixir, go, go. And let's get moving. Drop down here. Hi, doggy. Bye, doggy. Ow. Oops, wrong way. Ay, 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 ay. One of these real quick in the door, and then... Slide into the jail cell like, whoa! Could, could you maybe get out of my way? Thank you. I didn't realize there was going to be a hunter down here. Well, that could be a problem. Especially with those guys hanging out. Alright, then we'll just run and gun. That's fine. Ow. Oh, they're all on me. Okay. Ow. Let me get out of here. Okay. Whoop, not wrong way. This way. Man, you're a quick doggo, aren't you? Let's see what's down here. Well, they killed the person with a bag. That's not good. Wow. All right, Beast Claw, dude, get out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, they all are equipped with different weapons, with different functions. They're all different kinds of builds, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a problem. Especially, I think that was a called Beyond. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe that was the Tiny Tenitris. I don't know, man. Okay. Beast Claw guy's still here. That's fine. Let's see where we can run. That'll get us out of here. Actually, I could probably just run straight down the stairs. Honestly, because I've got the door open all the way to the boss, so... Just run past these guys, you know. What's the big deal? Oops. Behold a pale blood something. Sky, I think it said. I think we've read that one before, though. There was that other item down here that I could grab, wasn't there? That I didn't grab. The one that I saw in the boss room. Well, I just heard the, the maiden. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop shooting at me! Whoa. Oh, I'm out of green juice. Okay. Maybe it's this way. Use the railing to my advantage. Yep, here it is. Of course it's Madman's knowledge. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, hello. Bye bye See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Whoa. Okay. And this way. And then bob and weave. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Yeah, embrace the caustic blood, yeah. <laughs> oh, does he mispronounce it on purpose just to make you score? <laughs> oh, okay, I gotcha. <laughs> did they leave? Yes, they did. Cool. Now I can read chat. Good. You always say it mega wrong. Oh, come on, Kira. Don't sell yourself short. We've had this talk already, though. You can't. You can't sell yourself short. But anyway. Let's get the hand lantern on because we're heading into a building, and usually that's a fairly decent thing to have. Oh. Okay, then apparently the cage on the head was a new fashion style of some kind because otherwise, why would all these people be doing it? And on top of that, whoever's sitting in this chair, some kind of mummy, they seem to be someone important because why would there be 20 million people, including children, by the way, if you look at the person directly behind them, unless that's just a midget, why would they all have the same hat on unless there was something, it's like some sort of cult message or something. Anyway, let's look at the mummy. Hello there. It'll be all right, friend. It'll be all right. No, it won't because we're teleporting. <laughs> And we're back in the lecture building. We weren't able to... I don't think we were able to get into this room before, though. Because I think this room is on the second floor. We explored all the first floor previously. And now we get to explore this floor. I wonder if the enemies are any stronger. Because last time we were here, they died to a single poke. So, uh, no, I don't need to return to the Hunter's Dream. 
But we have a checkpoint now, so that's always a good thing. Not as unnerving as the first time, but that's probably because I already know what to expect because I've been here before. So, yeah, we were down there last time we were here. So let's go check what's up here. Yeah, oh dear. That's that's just about right. All right who's going to drop on my head over here? I know what's going to happen. Well, there's a bunch of sedatives for us in case we need it. Whoa! C could you not? Okay. Could you don't, please, sir? Yeah, they are stronger. Significantly more so than the ones on the first floor. Uh, by the way, fun little factoid about the students here in the lecture building. Apparently they're made of quicksilver juice, or quicksilver metal. I don't know how the students manage to fuse themselves with quicksilver metal, but... Yeah, alright. Anyway, let's just have a look around up top here. There's the lecture hall with all of the students that we were at before where we tried to lecture them on the the wonders of quicksilver and pale blood and blah 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 but i ain't got nothing on that subject because my head is empty when it comes to that stuff so why don't you walk right into my blade there sir thank you for doing so Ooh. what does this say master willem was right evolution without courage will be the ruin of our race can't say I really know what that means, but all right, well, we got another visitor. Here comes a new challenger. Challenger who failed. I thought he was going to slam jam me, but apparently not. It's out here. I don't know if that's official or not, but uh, that's what I heard anyway, is that they're made of quicksilver. I could be wrong. If it is, like, just non-canon stuff, then whatever. But that's, I mean, it makes some sort of sense, at least, I mean, in a way, I guess. Or maybe they're made of pale blood. I mean, that would also make sense, considering the, what's going on here. Okay, so our target is to my left. But I don't want to go there just yet. He says as he goes there anyway. In that way. But yeah, my target is right over there, that door. Because that door is different from the other doors up here. But let's go explore the rest of this area first before I go hemming it up anywhere else. Because we need to make a routine stop off before. Oh god. Oh no, he's just crawling. Over. No, actually, that was an attack. Never mind. I thought that was, uh. Oh, I'm standing in it. Get me out of it. So first I got shat on by a bunch of aborted zombie corpses, and now I'm getting thrown up on by a bunch of slug people. There we go again with the racist comments. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, let's not let's not get spat on. It just seems like a terrible time. Can't say I'm into either one of those things. Okay, so apparently in order to get over there, we gotta go all the way up and around here anyway. I was thinking there was a little spot to get there from here. Also, there's another church official over there, which is uh, something. As a slug person, you're offended. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. I will try to keep the racist remarks to a minimum from here on out. <laughs> We should be able to passively regenerate a little bit of HP, at least, with Ludwig's out. Three third cords. Is that like three blind mice, except more disgusting? Probably. What does this say? The Nameless Moon Presence, beckoned by Lawrence and his associates. Pale blood. 
Someone's, like, shorthanding their notes here. You need to take better notes in class, sir or madam. How are we supposed to study for the exam if you don't take good notes? Okay, can I, like, walk over here without you getting offended? I sure hope so, because I wouldn't want to deal with him along with these goopy guys and gals. You're going to spit, aren't you? Nope. Whatever that is, that's what you're doing. I got a couple of friends. A couple of friends that I should be. Oh, okay, I see. So you're not spitting, you're just dumping acid in my face. That seems yucky. But yeah, as you can see, normal strikes are not able to stun lock them. If you thrust your sword at them, or if you use thrusting attacks on them, they stun because they're they're weak to thrusting damage, so that's why that happens. Anyway, I guess we've only got one person to take care of now, and that would be this person over here. Good luck, have fun, pick a god and pray, because I'm sure this is going to take forever. Let me go in here first. Well, I mean, it's not like it's any harder than they were previously. They just have more HP. But I haven't fought those church officials in a little while, so it could be more problematic than I'm giving it credit for. I thought there was one that, like, dropped down from up here. Hmm. Oh, well. What's in here? Ah, another treasure. Oh, okay, so this is out in that hallway. All right, what's in here? Let's check it out. The communion. Uh, another communion uh, rune. Let's see, that one is... Not as good as the one we already have. Okay, that's fair. You'd think I would have had the plus two one by now, but I think I got the plus two one from something that was slightly more difficult. So, I forget where I got the plus three one. Is that a bad thing? I mean, we only did it, like, what, two, three streams ago? Oh, well. Hello there. Oh, God. What happened to your hands, man? Could, could you do that again and, like, waste all the rest of the, the stuff? Okay. Oh, God. Get away from him before he does, like, some sort of... There. Oh. Gotta watch because he might swing up on right here as well, so. Ooh, nice stun. Or stagger, really, I guess is the better way of putting it. Oh, come on. Ow. Well, I did ask for it, didn't I? <laughs> oh, God. Speaking of which. Now I'm ready for you. And that takes care of that. That was not worth 4,000 blood echoes, I'll tell you what. Okay. So what was he guarding back here? Oh, a ladder. Hmm. Wasn't he in Deadpool 2? <laughs> he may just have been. I haven't seen Deadpool 2. You really gotta see it. At some point. I heard it was pretty good. I didn't hear if it was better or worse than the first one, but... Uh, you know. Oh, okay, that's a big spider. Is this like Master Willem's second chair or something? Oh, you're the git who was sticking his head out the door, aren't you? <laughs> Hi. Well, this cannot be. You cannot be. Can't be what? Did this come to pass? Oh, I killed a giant mountain of corpses. Beg for life. Gesture. Do you mind if I open this door? Well, apparently not. So yeah, now we can get back to the first floor if we want to. Or if you didn't come here previously, you can actually go explore the first floor. Hmm. Now wait just a moment. Do you think you love me? Me? 
Um, <laughs> well, I'm honestly just confused because you're a giant deformed head. Well, not that deformed, I guess. On top of a spider's body. I guess it's not all that bad. I mean, chimeras are people, too. Indeed. I should think not. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now, you witness to a miracle. And all the stronger for it. Well, we did get some insight for seeing him. It, if you have a grain of gratitude in you. <laughs> He seems like a trustworthy fellow. What do you want me to do, beg for my life? <laughs> Definitely not the cackling of a madman. Nope. Not at all. So what are you going to do now? No matter. Such details are trifling. We're fast friends by now. Yeah, I would think so. Let this express what words cannot. Yeah, hooray for Nightmare, yeah. And for talking to Patches the Spider, we get anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Oh, that doubt me not, sweet compere. What is friendship but a chance encounter? So is that why you had Amygdala swallow my soul? Because you needed a chance encounter with someone? Were you lonely with all of the Quicksilver people? Oh, Patches, you're not so bad. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> But yeah, so that is a rune that will increase our stamina. And I'm probably going to equip it because it's fairly useful considering my endurance isn't going to be too much higher than what it is currently. So, probably be pretty useful. Anyway, we already know the deal with these doors. Is this just going to lead me to the second floor of the Nightmare Frontier or what? Let's go check it out. I'm ready for it this time. Yeah, nothing nefarious here at all. Nope. Except for those bastards of Loran, those are nefarious. That's some Binding of Isaac shit. I've never played the Binding of Isaac though, so I don't think I'm a good judge. Nightmare of Mensis. Haven't we heard that name somewhere before? Also, why does the grass look like blood vessels? Ew. I could swear we heard that name somewhere before, but I can't quite put my finger on where. Probably back in Yarhar Ghoul there. Alright, well, what's waiting out here? Can't be that bad, right? Hmm. The clock tower. Can't say I'm shocked. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so this is actually the final main game area right here. Now, we've missed several side areas, but... This is it right here. If you beat this place, you can go back to the Hunter's Dream and finish the game. So we're not that far from the end, but I'm not going to go do all of that. I'm going to do other stuff, but like go back to all the side areas, especially there's one particular side area that we gained access to today that I would like to go back and see because so we need to pick up there in order to be proper prepared for the Nightmare of Mensis here. Get behind him. There we go. Give me your blood. Ooh, fire damp blood gem. Nice. Those guys are nasty because they have some really gigantic. Like, you know how the flies had those giant jumping attacks back in Bergenworth? They're like fly version 2, except instead of frenzying you, they just deal buttloads of damage, which is. Excuse me, kind of a problem. Oh, hello. You give me more chunks, please. Thank you. Ooh, what's this? Some more frenzy. Cold blood. Huh. Maybe it's a lighthouse on top of being a clock tower. That's interesting. Or some kind of cathedral, anyway. Yeah, clock tower three. Yeah. <laughs> Canehurst boss? Uh, I'm not going to be going to Canehurst this time, unfortunately, Pineapple, but somebody in the chat might be able to help you if there uh, is anybody watching. I'll be going to Canehurst um, next time, maybe? So that would be Thursday. I don't know if you want to wait that long, though. So. You can always check with the F Extra Life folks. They usually have people on to help out. Also, check out the faces on these guys. That is a space only a stone mother could love. Uh, does anybody else have a headache all of a sudden? Or is it just me? 
Huh. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's go back to the hunter's dream. Perhaps. Let's see if Distresler will help you out. He was in chat a minute ago. He hasn't been chatting recently, but he was here a hot minute ago. Um, we got a lot more insight that we can use now as well. I didn't think that the lecture building was going to give me that much. Um, anything I can purchase while I'm here? Probably just more paper. Yeah, let's buy more paper. Um, six, so I can buy... I'll buy three of each, and then I'll uh, use a madman's knowledge to give myself some insight back. Let's see here. Here we go. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I don't know if the at thing. I don't know if a character can get to Kanehurst. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, like I said, Pineapple, uh, today I'm not going to be heading to Kanehurst myself, so. If you don't mind waiting, I'll, I'll be able to help you when we come back on Thursday, but uh, I don't know if you want to wait that long, so. Sorry. Fire attack up 12.6%. I think we'll get rid of that. Let's store that away. Um, silver bullets, HP. I pretty much mostly just need Blood Rapture. So I think we'll do this communion and Odin Rise to go with Hunter. So Oh, you think you do have a character? Okay, I, I read that as I don't think I have a character. Okay. My bad. <laughs> um, let's see here. So we can plus eight something. Let's plus eight Ludwigs. That should be useful. And then, um, I think I have enough Blood Echoes to level up, so let's level up once, and then we need to make a quick detour before we continue with the Nightmare there, of the Nightmare of Mensis, that is. Welcome, what is it? Stream in mobile mode, yeah. <laughs> hey, Alex, how's it going? Very well, let me... And more skill. There we go. Sweet. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Well, I'm glad you found somebody to help you there, Pineapple. That's a good thing. Thank you, my lady. Oh, I need to go slot in that other rune. Almost forgot before we hit, went rushing out the door there. All right, let's do that then. Um, so we will do this and this and that. And we'll keep the hunter rune. I'll probably put Odin right away for now. Um, yeah, I'll put Odin right away for now because honestly, I'm thinking we'll probably do just the regular clockwise and the counterclockwise and uh, metamorphosis there eventually as our stuff, along with our communion rune. Either that or the blood rapture rune. I don't know. Um, I I'll hold on to Odin right. That might be useful for later. Okay, but we need to make a detour, so let's see. What would be the closest one to the shop? I think this one. And I can actually go to the um, cathedral to see if the NPCs are okay, so that's not a bad idea either. Just download Fiesta to try it out. Ah, that's good. I, I don't think I've heard of Fiesta, though, to be honest with you. But it sounds good, whatever it is. I'm doing pretty good myself. Just uh, same stuff, different day. You know how it goes. Doing some homework after I'm done with this. Still working on my hex coding stuff. Took a little break from the, the other stuff I was doing with it, though, because like I said previously, the hex coding stuff I was doing was digging around in the files of and hexadecimal coding of a video game. And um, I was doing some scripting in there, not only for, like, um, not only for the actual hex coding, but also for writing scripting stuff. So I was writing a lot of stuff for the game, potentially rewriting some things that I didn't need to rewrite, and it sort of burned me out a little bit, so I've been taking a bit of a break, but I may go back to it. So, are you still having problems? Sounds like she's still having problems. That's not good. What about you, Granny? Oh. 
Um, I'm good, Granny. All right, so she's still okay. What about you? You're still not saying anything either, huh? Oh, that's not good. Well, anyway, so we need to go up here in order to get to the next area that we can go to. So let's do that. See if these guys have any more uh, HP now that the Pale Blood Moon has come out. Evidently not, so that's a good thing. All right, so we need to go up and up again, so we're probably going to have to deal with a bunch of dudes shooting at me. Which, I mean, you know, business as usual, really. Okay, healing Church Workshop. Here we are. We have arrived. Let's see what I can do about this. Is that... Ooh. That... You well. I think I'm a little too strong for these guys at this point. I think they're they're not able to deal with my bobbing and weaving anymore. <laughs> oh. They got a lot of cleavers here, don't they? Wonder why one of them doesn't just well, I guess they maybe they're not strong enough to use the cleavers. It's a possibility. Oh. Okay, Grandpa, slow it down with the Gatling gun. I'll top myself off real quick. And then... Oh, hi there. Yeah, that little extra stamina that we got there should help out a little bit, so... That wind always gets me, though, man. It still sounds like somebody's hanging out trying to, like, shoot at me or something. Alright, let's see here. There was at least one dude with a Gatling gun in here. Probably two. There's this guy. I got him handled, though. There you are. Wonder what Jaeger's barking at. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, this door was locked previously. We couldn't get in, but now we can open the door. Now that we have the Upper Cathedral key, and we can go to Upper Cathedral Ward. Even more windy. That's great. Well, let's go check and see what we've got up here. I'm sure it's nothing good. You an enemy? Kind of weird slug monster thing, huh? Very interessante, all right. Yeah, we're looking for something in particular up here. Yeah, blue looks are nice. Lots of wind here, and it looks like our uh, old friends with the, the canes and the lamps are back. Hello. Long sea, no time. Or er, wait. <laughs> Apparently they found they've got a new attack going on or something. I haven't seen that one before. Just casually avoid those by using a visceral attack. Huh. Ouch. And that's that. Okay. Not as bad as I thought. It'd be nice if you gave Quicksilver bullets, but, well, you know. More slug people. Don't think I need all of that to kill them. Just do this. Yeah, I don't really know what the deal is with these things, but... Okay, apparently they are weak to thrusting damage, though. Good to know. 
Here we are. The Upper Cathedral Ward Lamp. Um, I don't really need to go back to the Hunter's Dream yet, so... Uh-oh, Pineapple, something happened. Did you guys work on the Canehurst boss, or... Oh, okay. I'm ringing again. But anyway, we want to get that gate open there, because that gate will actually help us with something. Oh, my battery's low on my... Uh, thing there. What are you guys walking towards? Hmm. Oh, did Kanehurst boss get you? He's... Yeah, he can be troublesome sometimes. Can I get multiple of you if I do this? Yes. Let's get the one that's closest to me. Right. Gotta use them thrusting attacks, man. There's a great lake rune. I wonder what that one's good for. But they're, they were coming this way for something. They were looking up there. I wonder what they were looking at. Anyway, we can't go in here. This one is closed by a device, so. Squishy, ew. Anyway. There's a bunch of them over here. Man. I wonder where they all came from. Hmm. Perhaps the world will never know. Actually, I think I I have a theory on where these people come from, and the theory is that they are the remnants of the healing church members who were transfused upon by the blood of a particular enemy that we will not be fighting until later. Said enemy is probably at the top of the healing Upper Cathedral Ward church area. That's what I, I meant. The Upper Cathedral Ward. That's what I meant to say. Oh god, more of these things. Damn it! Just when I thought I could get away from you. Wow. Wow. I suppose we are up, you know, up high, so it makes sense that there would be verbs up here. Ow. Up here. Three more? Alright. Spam in front of me, I'm sure it'll work just fine. Oop. Work just fine. Anything else? Nope. Okay, cool. More frenzy. Cold blood, sweet. Hmm. You know what's coming up? Yeah. We might get to the boss of this area by the end of the day today. That's kind of my goal, but um, it may happen and it may not. I'm mostly here looking for a particular. Um, well, something we need in the Nightmare of Mensis, I'll just put it that way. I don't know how to put it without uh, spoiling something otherwise, so. You gonna come down or what? Oh. Try again. Up high! There we go. I don't know what his deal is, but I don't like that scythe one bit, so. Why don't you come over here where it's a little more roomy? Can you, like, walk through the fire for me? No. Oh god. Okay, okay, getting comboed. <laughs> Let's not get comboed here, that would be good. I could have sworn, I think there's an enemy in there that's gonna try to viciously murder me, but I forget. Great down there somewhere. Ah, it's another one of these things, okay. These little small blood suckers. Get rid of them, so much the better. Yep. Sweet. Let me guess. Oh, I'm gonna say Madman's knowledge? No, the choir set. Okay. I was thinking he was sucking on it because of Madman's knowledge. I do like this area though that's coming up. It's it's kind of atmospheric. It, it's kind of, and it's spooky atmospheric, which sort of makes sense considering it's Bloodborne. But anyway, we acquired the choir set. Check that out. Doesn't quite go with the crow mask, but, well, you know. We already have something that goes pretty well with the crow mask, so. Can't be picky, can't be choosy. I 
I hear something walking. It sounds like another one of those sucker guys. Could just be me, though. Well, this door leads down to where we need to go, so I'm going to open it up, but we're not going to go down there just yet. There are some enemies to fight down there that we'll have to deal with, but first, let's get spooked up here before I go down there and get spooked. I think ideally we want to end up on the other side of this wall, but can't go there just yet because this door's locked. Can't get this, though. Oh, God! Yeah, nice, nice jump scares game. Well, it would have been. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Wait for the green juice to come back. One, two, three, four, five. And dead! Now, they won't be nearly that easy most of the time, but yeah. Hey, Shroom Raver, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, buddy. We're getting spooked in the Upper Cathedral Ward today. Well, anyway, so we gotta go down here. And let me tell you what, there's a lot more of those little werewolf guys the further down we go. So, I think there's also bloodsuckers down there, or, you know, head suckers, whatever they're called, to be dealt with down there. So, let's just uh, see what we can do without them first. This doesn't open this side. Not a whole lot, apparently. So late, so you should go to sleep. <laughs> Is it late for you, Alex? It's six o'clock over here, so I'm a little. I think my schedule is a little behind some of the people that are here because some of you guys are in Europe, which means, yeah, it is kind of late actually over there, isn't it? So, it's up to you. Doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. Well. Okay, that's a lot to deal with at once. Would you guys take a number? stand in line a little bit. But yeah, you can get spooked a little here by these guys. How about we do one of these? This should poke a little further. They're not weak to this, but I mean, <laughs> what isn't weak to this, you know? <laughs> But apparently they were up on the chandeliers, which is... Where are you going? <laughs> I guess it's an alright place to be. How romantic! There we go. Did I attract three of them, or was it just these two? These guys, I mean, they only drop bloodstone shards, but they are quite a bit harder than the normal werewolves, so that's why I'm kind of trying to play it safe with them. In case you were wondering. Could probably take them one-on-one, -on -one, but... I don't like pushing my luck. Well, that didn't do as much as I was hoping. Well, I guess we're here now, so... Ow. There we go. Oh, not quite enough. A little dinky one. There we go. All right, Alex, take it easy. Have a good sleep. Good old UK, yes. <laughs> Represent the UK there. Oh, they dropped bloodstone chunks. I didn't know that. Gonna have to plug my phone in after the stream is over. It's running on about 12% battery right now, which is probably still fine. Any more doggos to deal with? I think there's one more. I kind of want to go straight for the door, though, if I'm being honest with you, because there's... Oh, God, hi. There's a door right here, and if I start opening it... Locked. Great. I'm locked in with this guy! One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Get your green juice back. Teleport into him. Teleports behind you. Nothing personnel, kid. And he's dead. I didn't even know if that was the proper technique for fighting them, but it seemed to work out okay, so... 
Some more Ritual Blood. That's Ritual Blood 5, which is a little bit stronger than the Ritual Blood we've seen so far. It's, it's better for the rituals that we can do for the Chalice Dungeons. So we'll have to make use of that. Ah, another one of these guys, huh? Alright. Alright, man. I'm not dealing with that shit. You can keep that. I'll, I'll go somewhere else. Forget you. <laughs> I don't need no black sky eye. All I need is to give you a black eye. Where's that item that he was guarding? Oop. Might be able to get it without him noticing. <laughs> Here we go. The Cosmic Eye Watcher Badge. Another thing for the Bath Messengers so we can purchase stuff. Cool. Spooky here, though. I'll tell you what. It's definitely spooky with the little high pitched choir going on in the background. Okay, so that door that was there that was locked, it's got to have a switch or something somewhere. So let's go see if we can find it. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled because I know that. Uh, Bound to be enemies somewhere around here. I think we have to go through this hallway, though, because I think there's a ladder at the end of this hallway over here. So, let me go check it out. <laughs> I do get quite a number of people from Europe, which is, I mean, it's cool. You know, it's its interesting. I, I didn't expect it when I first played, but, I mean, it kind of makes sense. A lot of people are just getting home from work, and then they're eating dinner in the United States when I'm streaming. So, it kind of makes sense to me that there's... Uh, you know, less people from the U.S. that watch, but, hey, you know. Yeah, the good old days of DDT, I remember that. That seems like such a long time ago, though. It's been, like, what, four or five years at this point? It's pretty... It's been a while we've known each other. Oh, that's okay, I know what you meant. <laughs> yeah, gotta hate those brain suckers. They're... They're problematic. Oop. That's not a brain sucker, though. Ooh, he dies in one Molotov. Sweet. Ah! Thanks for the bloodstone chunks. Oh, God. Let me just do this real quick. There we go. Okay, that seems to deal decent damage to him, so... There we go. Just gotta use the thrusting attacks, that's all. Not an all-out slugfest here. Got to use more technique than that. You guys still having trouble with the Canehurst boss there, Pineapple? He's not easy. A lot of people have told me that he's fairly challenging, so... Alright, there's probably a bunch of stuff up here on the rafters, so let's just have a look. See what we can find. Which There's a couple of you guys, aren't there? Let's see, now there's two of you. All right. That's, oh, God! I've just made him stronger! Get out of my head! Okay. Get out of here. Huh. They're everywhere. All right, I'm getting that order. Just casually drop on your head. Where are you going, anyway? Okay, that takes care of one. There's still a second one in that room there. He sucked the inside right out of my head, too. What a chore. And a one, and a two, and a three. Thank you. I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Kanehurst boss, yeah. Like I said, some people have told me he's challenging, some people have told me he's not challenging. I'm, I don't know what to think at this point, but I do know that we're going to be waiting to go after him until after I get access to, not necessarily use, but access to the, um, 
the plus 10 weapon item, which we don't ha quite have access to just yet. We will, though. We'll take that one. The orphanage key. Okay, apparently I can go to the orphanage now. I don't know what that's all about, but we'll see what's in here. Anybody home? Mandy? Grim? Hello! Hey, at least it's different than my usual Mario Mario from Luigi's Mansion. Huh. Nobody home but this corpse, huh? And for chatting with the corpse that's stuck in its position, petrified this way, we get the make contact gesture, which is actually what I was here looking for. What's the make contact gesture? Well, it'll be useful to us, and I'm actually going to put it right here, because we'll, uh, we'll make use of it. Let's see, where is it? Right there. Let's see if I can emulate him real quick. Well, first I'm going to put this away, because that's way too much of that. It's like you can barely tell the difference. All right. Well, that's what I was here for. But we're going to continue through this area because there is still a boss to deal with here. So, okay, that's a shortcut. That leads us back up and around. So now we can go down. There was a ton of stuff on this ledge over here, though. So I'm going to go check that out. And then we'll um, try to figure out where to go. I think we need to use that orphanage key to um, open the door downstairs. So we'll do that. Yes, we understand right angles. I am a basic geometry boy, but at least I understand geometry. The blindfold cap. Okay, I think I've got a good enough cap, though. So, some more madman's knowledge. Not a wonder there was a sucker guarding this hallway, considering. Two pearl slugs. And another shortcut that we can take. I'll probably take this one down, actually. Easier than going all the way back, climbing down the ladder. Yeah, we got a few shortcuts now that we've got oh, this place uh, in this place, so we can make it through here, open this door up with the orphanage key, and then we can unlock the big shortcut, which will lead us directly past this gate back to the bonfire. Well, <laughs> the bonfire. The lamp. This ain't Dark Souls. What you talking about, Willis? Yeah, that big gate that we couldn't open before? Well, now we can Sweet. And that will lead us right back up to this place up here. Now, I think there's nothing else in the way between here and the boss of this area, which is right up this way. I could be wrong, though. I should probably... Oh, there is something. Okay. Another one of these weirdos. Still weak to thrusting damage, though, so... Eh, no big deal. Huh. Weird, jelly-headed dude. Usually they have a belly full of jelly, not a head full of jelly. I don't know what that does to your brain, but maybe it is your brain. I don't know, man. Aliens are weird, as a philosopher of the 1990s would say. Okay. So... Let's spend these blood echoes. Oh, yeah, right. I kind of need to have one insight for the doll to come back. I looked at her, and she was all pale, and I'm like, what the hell? It's because I didn't have an insight. I think we have to leave and come back, though. So, this is a good time to go and grind for a couple of blood vials. Since I have to leave and come back anyway, I might as well. I don't know how many chunks we picked up, though, while we were there. We could probably check once we come back. Oh, there's a beast up here now. Hello? Claw mark, huh? Oh, well, that's interesting. Gilbert, you know there's a... Oh. Ah, crap. <laughs> so yes, that's the end of the Gilbert quest line right there that I've been looking for. 
Gilbert turned into a beast, and, well, there he goes. Sad, but, you know. Oh, can you? Okay. I don't think I've ever tried it. Leveling up without insight, that is. I have to give that a shot at some point. Where do you go to level up without insight, just out of curiosity? Because I don't think I've ever, I've ever done. So... Probably shouldn't have used all those Molotovs now that I'm thinking about it, because those little scurrying guys are usually pretty weak to them, and they usually deal pretty deal with them pretty handily. So to keep that in mind for next time. Oh well. Oh, you can still do it at the dial, just you don't need the insight. You need to have the insight the first time. Okay. So you just need to talk to her the first time in order to level up. Okay. I see. I didn't know that. Usually I go there with one, at least one insight, so. And get a few Quicksilver bullets while we're at it, even though I don't really need them. I've got enough, but, eh, you know, more can't hurt. We can probably level up two times if I use a bunch of the Frenzy Cold Blood that I have, so let's give that a shot. Yeah, Rip Gilbert. Press F to pay respects for the dude that sort of... He actually helped us out pretty good in the beginning of the game. I mean, the Flame Sparer wasn't any good, but that was because I was not doing an Arcane build, so, you know, that kind of makes a difference there. Uh, let's see here. What do I need to do while I'm here? Anything I need to throw away? Um, I need to use these. Let's just use all three. 15k? Yeah, that should be plenty enough to get us a level there. And then... That's about it there. We can get, put all of those in the box. We have three more chunks. I don't think that's enough to level up, though. To plus eight. It'll, it'll depend on what we have in my storage container there. This blindfold cap must be the... Uh, the top to the choir set or something. We have that fire gem to get rid of as well. But yes, Claw Mark increases the damage of your visceral attacks. It's pretty good in combination with either Blood Rapture or Odin Rite. I mean, you can pretty much use these three if you're planning on using lots of visceral attacks, like if you're planning on parrying a bunch of stuff, and it does some pretty good damage, but I usually prefer a more all-rounder setup, so. Nice, nice. Good job, you guys, good teamwork. Uh, we have three and three, so we can plus eight something. Cool. Let's see, what do I need to get rid of here? I don't know if I'm going to use the blunderbuss ever again. I'll probably just keep the pistol. But I'll keep the blunderbuss just in case. It might come in handy somewhere. I just don't feel as comfortable parrying with it, you know what I mean? All right, let's get rid of that. We don't need that. We'll get rid of that. I'll keep Odin Rise. Because, again, it might come in handy. More Molotovs? No more Molotovs. All right, that's fine. Wish I could buy them with, like, uh, Insight or something, because that would be a little easier. There we go. And Fortify Weapons. We have a plus eight Saw Spear. Nice. Just got to work on plus nine now, but that's going to take a while, because we need 16 chunks in order to plus nine our weapons there. We'll find them. It's just, like I said, it might take a little while. Anything new with the Bath Messengers? Now that I got the Cosmic Eye Watcher badge, there should be a couple new things. Yeah, we can buy blue elixirs now, and we can also buy, buy beast blood pellets, which could come in handy for certain fights. Anything else to buy? I think that's about it. Okay. Let's go check out the messengers down at the bottom and see if they have anything for me. Because of the Cosmic Eye Watcher badge. I'm sure there's something that they can give me. See anything to sell? Um, I don't think so, except for that one gem. Yeah, we don't need that. Let's see here. God, this stuff is so expensive now. <laughs> we can buy rope Molotov cocktails, but I think we could buy those before. We can finally buy oil urns, and we can buy poison knives. Okay, that's cool. That will help, because poison knives are halfway decent to have. We can buy Ritual Blood 1 there, but we don't really need that. Um, those were there before. I think those were all there before. Uh, let's see. 
Repeater pistol might not be terrible. How do these look? Eh, not that great. How about these? Eh, still. Kind of meh. Alright, good for that. Let's see if we can level up a couple of times. If we can't, I've got some cold blood, so. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. You could, yes. That is that is true. Claw mark stacking is pretty lulzy. You, you can do tons and tons of damage with visceral attacks if you stack claw mark, so. It's pretty good. Oh, we're just so we're just so close, and yet so far. All right, Farewell, let me use a cold blood, May. and then we'll go from there. Let's see, it's one of these. It's a little too much, but that's okay. Welcome. What is it? We should be fine. Very well. Let me. And this. Level 39. Okay, gotcha. So I don't even know. I might have been able to help you, but I'm not really I sure. I think I'm outside of the window the for helping world. you there, Pineapple. So, unfortunately, sorry to say it. But I'm glad that you guys got them all the same. So, thank you, m'lady. All right, so let's take out Ludwig's because that's going to be useful. I'm going to go restock on Pebbles, actually, because I think I've got a couple in storage. Let's see. Yeah, I got quite a few. Let's get ourselves back up to 20. You never know when they'll come in handy for attracting enemies. Where would that even be? I think it would be here. Um, yeah, here it is. And you're back on the TV, yes. <laughs> oh, are you watching on your television there, Distressler? That's pretty cool. I used to play um, c games on my computer that way, too. I would uh, put an HDMI cord, plug it into my laptop, and then plug it into the television. I don't think that works for um, streaming games, but it worked for just playing them. So. All right, we got, like I said, we got a little too many Blood Echoes, but we'll be fine. I don't think we could finish leveling up if we used more, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Leave well enough alone. Let's go up here, deal with... Your friendly neighborhood BGM, or, uh, let's see, Little Green Men, so LBM, like IBM, except you die. What would BGM be? Blue Green Man. Oh, well, he's kind of blue green. He's more like blue gray, though. So, and I guess BGM works, blue gray man. Well, I don't know what I'm saying. Let's, let's continue. <laughs> let's continue before I have an aneurysm. Oh, watching through the PS4? Okay, gotcha. Nice. Some kind of swamp or something? There's a bunch of lily pads down here. That's very interessante. Hmm. Well, I got no clue what's going on, so let's just uh, see what's going on. Celestial Emissary. Okay. Apparently there's a lot of these guys now. Yeah, we gotta kill these guys. Until their friend comes along, I think. Because I think eventually, once you kill them, th there's gonna be a big one that comes up. Oh, nope, this is the emissary right here. Okay. Well, so it's sort of like the Royal Rat Vanguard in that way, then. That boss fight. So you're the emissary, because you don't have an HP bar. Gotta kinda walk around these guys a little bit and then just thrust at them when we get a chance. Because as before, they are weak to thrusting damage, so. Okay, I think I need to get out of here. Because he's about to yeah, do that. Now he's a big guy. Okay. Apparently he still takes some decent damage from that. Ooh, nice. Okay, I don't know what that's all about, but I want none of it drop this way. There we go. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Got a little greedy there. That's my bad. That looks like a big explosion. Oh, that, I don't know what that did, but that could be problematic. Okay, let's just do this. How about... Oof. Okay, I was meaning to hit him, but... Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Up here. Use the pillar. Lock him off. Okay, now we go. Just 
just run at him. Wow, almost got him. There we go. Prey slaughtered, and all of his friends died too. Get another communion rune for that. I guess we could check and see if that one's any good compared to the ones we've got. And he gave me just enough to probably level up once. Maybe not quite. Let's light up this lamp. It is weird, though, for them to give us a lamp at the very end of an area like this. Because, you know... Normally, there's just, like, a way back down. Or it leads forward somewhere. Into the next area. Can't wait till the next boss this area. <laughs> How do you get to Kanehurst without killing Amelia? Uh, good question. Let's see. Speedrun skip, able to get to forbid. Oh, okay, so you did the little thing where you drop off the building and it looks like you're in death camera and then you, you skip to the forbidden woods. Okay, I know that trick. I know that trick. Um, let's see. Should we go back to the Hunter's Dream? We could go back to the Hunter's Dream now instead of just hanging around here because there's nothing for us to do here anymore, right? Not so fast. The one and only window you can break in these games, you can drop right in here and do something else down there. We're not going to do anything down there yet, but I'm probably going to make sure that I grab the goodies that are down here. We're not going to fight the boss down there yet either. I pretty much need a plus 10 weapon to be able to stand any kind of chance against them, so... Yes, you defeated, yes. <laughs> Speedrunners are practically witches. Hello there. Well, don't don't swing above his head now. Okay, so just a normal thrusting attack is enough. Good to know. I probably should have gone and leveled up with the echoes, but I don't think I have quite enough. I think I need slightly more than what I have. Anyway, down there is where we fought Amelia. So, Vicar uh, or Vicar Amelia. There's a call beyond. We finally have access to it. Um, that is that damaging spell that was being used by uh, Gojira in the Amelia boss fight. It was also used by a couple of the NPCs on the way there. That one looks a little tougher than the other ones. Oh god. Okay, th okay then. All right. Can I, like, actually dodge here? No, I'm stuck. Hold on. There we go. This is where I wanted to be. Apparently I'm not very good at dealing with their black sky eye shit. But, well, that didn't go. And I think this elevator leads directly down to the boss fight there. I don't think we're going to do anything with it, but... Uh, is there anything else for me to grab in here? I think that's it. I think I grabbed everything over here. Is that an item that I see, or is that just them looking... Twinkling in the moonlight. Nope, just twinkling in the moonlight. All right. Excuse me. It is a wonder, though, that we don't hear this music when we're uh, inside of Amelia's place. Maybe we do, and I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, for early game Chikage. Okay, and you just made it plus seven. Gotcha. Well, that's one way to do a blood tinge build, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's check and see what's down here. Apparently there's something we can summon down here. Let's check it out. Wow. There we go. Apparently we can summon an NPC hunter here. Damien of Mensis. Do I really trust someone of Mensis, though, considering that Nightmare is of Mensis? I don't know. Probably not a good idea. Don't know if it's worth trusting them. The Altar of Despair, huh? I can't say that I'm really all that shocked, but... Well, anyway... Let's see what's in here, regardless. Man, something crazy happened in here. Apparently there is a, a light beaming on that creature at the end of the hallway here. Well, let's go check it out. Medir, is that you? Did you gain some Seath skin in the interim between last time and this time? Hello? Who are you? Well, I can aim at you, so you're probably an enemy, but... Hmm. 
Yeah, lovely location, absolutely. Well, I don't know what this Cthulhu monster looking creature is, but I ain't about to deal with that shit. <laughs> Leave this for someone else. Yeah, that's, that's the boss of this area, but I'm going to leave her for later. We'll come back. Just need a little more power for me to be able to stand a chance against. And, and actually, honestly, it's not just a little more power, it's also having a little more HP, so... I will wait for that, thank you. Yes, you could hit it, and that would start the fight, but... Nope, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not dealing with that right now. Pretty much done everything that I wanted to do, though, so far today. And we've gotten into the Nightmare of Mensis. We actually have made contact, so we can continue with the Nightmare of Mensis. Um, but I think we might hold off on that, because I did say I was going to go to Kanehurst, and I was going to go... Where else do we have to go? Um, I feel like there's one other place that's an optional area that we could go. Nightmare Frontier, that's it. we got to do the Nightmare Frontier, and we also got to do... Um, Kanehurst Castle. So we'll be doing those next. Let me level up real quick. Um, we can't fortify because we didn't get anything new to fortify with yet. I'm going to actually purchase a little bit more of this stuff. Let's buy, let's see, you got eight and eight. So let's buy one of these. And um, I might start buying a couple of pungent blood cocktails. I mean, we have ten of them, now eleven, but. They might come in handy for a couple of bosses in the Chalice Dungeon there, because I think there's a few that act similarly to Blood Starved Beast, where if you throw them, they'll be attracted to them. Play fetch, boy! Anyway. I'm back. Home, good and I brought more Blood Echoes. What is it you desire? Yeah, I quite like the Kirk Hammer as well, um, at least from what I've used of it. I've never used it like through an entire playthrough there, but I do, I do like the moveset. I just... Honestly, I find the damage is not enough for how slow it is. With the, with Ludwig's here, the damage outweighs the fact that it's super slow. But, and this is a game where you need really quick weapons, so it, like enemies are quick enough where having slow weapons doesn't really help you. But the Kirkhammer just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just bad with the Kirkhammer, I don't know. Let me... If I could get good with the Kirkhammer, we could practically have MC Hammer here, because that's practically me, except... I'm MCR Hammer, but, well, you know, whatever. I would be in that case. I'm just a little shy Farewell, once again. Good hunt. May you... Okay, well, anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go after I shut off the stream here in a moment. I'm actually going to go and get some more blood vials. I'll level up off screen. I'm just going to put it into skill so we have 25 skill. And then I will meet you back here on this cliff face as usual for the next episode of Bloodborne the Stream Edition where we will, um... Probably just do optional stuff. We'll probably do... Uh, I'll try to do all of... Like, ideally. This is ideally. I don't know if I can actually do all of this. But we might be able to do all of the Nightmare Frontier. All of Kanehurst Castle. And do up to the first boss of the Nightmare of Mensis in the next stream. But I'm not counting on it. So we'll just do as much of it as we can So uh, by the time we get through the next stream. But if we get through all of that stuff. Um, and actually get access to the plus 10 upgrade. Um... By the time we're done with the streams for this week, I'll be happy. Because that means next week we can do Chalice Dungeons, and we can start the DLC once we're done with the Chalice Dungeons. So that's the game plan, and we'll see how it all pans out on the next episode of Bloodborne, the Stream Edition. Thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream. And I will see all of you on the next one. Until then, take care, have a good night, and study your right angles. Because they'll probably come in handy... Sometime later this week. Just a thought. See ya, everybody.